We're looking at the ISLO based on the following data for one of your scores. Calculate the final exam score needed to secure an A. Remember, an A is 90, is 90 out of 100. So that's the lowest A that you can make. So what you want to do is you want to make this a decimal. So it's going to be 0 0.15, 0 0.50, 0 0.15, 0 0.20. And this is the unknown. So then it's going to be 0 0.15 times 84. And that's going to be... I have to do the calculation. Twelve point six, and then you're gonna do zero point five times ninety. That's gonna equal forty five. Zero point one five times, excuse me, times eighty eight. That's gonna be thirteen point two. And then this is the unknown, is what you're gonna solve for. So then you're gonna add all these together, 12.6 plus 45 plus 13.2, you're gonna get 70.8. So then it's gonna be 90 minus 70.8. 90 is the A you need, so this is the A average needed, and this is the grade before final. So then you're going to subtract those, it's going to be 19.2, so we need to know when we're going to use this to find the exam score. So it's 19.2 divided by 20 times 100. And this is going to be the final exam score. So then you're going to divide by 20 times 100 and I get a 96%. That's what you need to make an A in that class. So the next scenario says, your friend is getting prepared to take the final exam for a specific class, and your friend expresses that they want to earn an A. Use the following table of your friend's data performance in the class, explain the rules. Okay, so this is already done for you. We just need to determine how much we're gonna get here. So 0 0.20, 0 0.50, 0 0.10, 0 0.20. So when a score is out of 100, this means that you can get a 13%. This right here means that you can get a 63%. And this right here means that you can get a 113%. So I'm gonna calculate this the way we did earlier, 0 0.20 times 94, 0 0.50 times 82, um, 0 0.10 times 76, and this is what we're trying to determine. But we have all these different, these grades to work with. So, this is going to be 18.8, this is going to be 41, and this is going to be 7.6. When we add those together, this is the average before the, um, the final exam, 18 point, let's say 94 times 0 0.20, 18.8, and then 41 plus 7.6. So I'm gonna get 60, sorry, 67 point, oh, I missed that, 67.4. This is the score before the exam. So if I get a third, so here's what is needs to understand. These are possible, grades on the final exam to earn the letter grades. This one is to get a C, 
this one to get a B or to get an A. So it's A. So let's list them in order. It goes from C, B to A. So what we're gonna do here, we gotta figure out which one of these is obtainable. So if I have a 13% plus a 67.4%, I'm gonna get a 70. This is the final grade. These are the possible grades on the final exam. That's the 13%. And then, so we're doing grades on the final exam. These are the grades right here. And then the next one is gonna be 63% plus 67.4%. That's gonna give me a, C. that one is gonna give me an 80. And that's gonna give me a B. The first one was gonna give me a C. And then 113% plus 67.4% equals a 90. So I wanna just um, repeat what this says. It says right here, all averages are out of 100. Since they're all out of 100, this one is not possible. So this is not possible because the final exam grade is over 100% for an A. Okay, so these are the only ones possible. I'm gonna highlight a different color. So these two right here are the only possible options that your friend can, can get, but Here's what's important. Um, I know this is hard to read, so I'm gonna read it to you. Um, explain the results to your friend and explain what he, she, they should expect. So we wanna make, sh we wanna m make sure that our, f we wanna communicate to our friend that an A is not possible and that the only grade possible is gonna be the is gonna be the B or the C. And they would have to get a 13% on the final exam to make the C, or they would have to make a 63% on the final exam to make a B. And then the last part right here, kinda wanna talk about this. It says your friend needs to make, a, needs to take a math test and they're confident they will not do well talk about this your friend needs to take a math test and they're confident they will not do well they have expressed to you they will use their notes even though the instructor said they could not so this is the issue that your friend is having with this is an an issue of academic honesty so it says what if what advice would you give your friend what are the possible consequences that this could happen if they were to get caught this is from the student handbook and here we go um, I'm just going to zoom in on this and leave it there. These are the possible consequences that could happen. It's considered academic dishonesty. So the faculty member will meet with the student arranged between the student and the faculty member to explain the incident. And here's what could happen to the student. They could get dis the, they could get away with it probably not going to happen issue a warning to the student and then that's going to be cataloged through the through the college or university reduce the grade on the assignment or test so a test is rather significant in most classes so that could be a significant um, impact on their grade if they do uh, use the notes or it could reduce the final grade in the class so what I would it's what I would communicate with my friend is that academic integrity is important in college and understanding the material is what they should be um, is what they should be going for. So let your friend know the consequences of making you know a bad decision, but also let your friend know that they um, you know try and support them to do the right thing. Okay, uh, that's how you do your sobi, and then you have to 
submit it, and then attach the PDF.